Hey everybody, today is Friday, December 2nd, 2022, and we're here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania at Jaeger's Tree Farm. I've actually never really been out here at the tree farm before. They, they used to do this amazing Halloween event out here where they would, they would take you around this gigantic haunted hayride. You'd go way out into these fields and they would chase you with, with trucks and there'd be people jumping out. It was actually a really intense, and I'm slipping on mud, really intense and crazy haunted hayride. They don't do that anymore now, so I haven't been out here in years and I've never actually been to the tree farm before. In fact, this is actually only my second time ever at a tree farm. We don't cut down our, our own trees. We, uh, we have a fake tree. We have actually three fake trees, three fake little trees that we put in the bay window of our house. One for me, one for my wife, and one for my son. And we decorate them all. It's fantastic. But yeah, we have fake trees. Even when we had a, a big, normal, like six, seven, eight, whatever foot tree, uh, it was it was a fake tree. We my, my family has never done real trees, although my my family when I was growing up, they did real trees, but we never actually went to a tree farm. We always went to a tree lot where the trees were already pre-cut. We bought our tree, we unwrapped it, put it in a little stand, and we were we were good to go. That's how we used to do things when I was a little kid. And like I said, now as an adult, my family, my me, my wife, and my son, we just do fake trees. That's how it goes. But I was out to a tree farm once before. I knew a girl, not dating, just a, just a friend of mine whose family every year went out, cut down their own, own tree. And one year I went out with her and her family and we um, we cut down a tree. She's like, hey, you wanna come with me? And I was like, I, I've never cut down a tree before. Yeah, let's go check this out. So we went out and we, um, we cut down a Christmas tree. So that was my, my only experience ever doing that, ever cutting down a tree was with a friend of mine whose family does that every single year. That's their tradition every year. But otherwise, I've never really done this before. And I'm not gonna do it this year either. We, we still have our fake tree. I'm not cutting down a real tree. Maybe I should come out here and just cut down one of these like little tiny trees. Be like, I did it. I cut down, a, I cut down my own tree and I'll, I'll bring that home and my wife will think I'm, I'm insane. But um, yeah, do you guys cut down your own tree? Leave a comment down below if that's something you do. If that's, if that's what, what your tradition is to go out to a tree farm like this and cut down your own. This is a nice looking tree. Cut down your own Christmas tree. Is that what you do? Or do you use a fake tree? Or do you just go to a tree lot and already take a tree that's already been cut? They actually have those here, right over there. There's a ton of trees lining up, lined up against that wall there that are already pre-cut, ready to go. You can just come here, pick up your tree, slap it on top of your car, on, on, the, on the family roadster, and drive on home. Or get yourself a saw and come out here, cut down, cut down your own own tree with their own with their own muscles. So what do you do? How do you, how do you do your trees at home? Look at this, all the tree stumps here with all the sap coming out of them. Tree farms are pretty cool. They're interesting because that's just how it works. The trees get cut down and then you plant a new one and then that one over time grows and eventually that'll get cut down and then I'll plant another one and then so on and so forth. And the, the circle of life goes around and around and trees continue to grow over and over again. Pretty awesome being out here. It smells amazing as well. Has this amazing smell, of course, of Christmas trees. In fact, there was a sign when I first walked in, it was on the door of the actual establishment that says, we are a tree farm, breathe deeply. And I was like, I, li I like that because it does smell like evergreen out here. It does smell like Christmas, it smells like Christmas trees. And I'm loving it. This is pretty awesome. You see they have trees way out there as well. I'm guessing that's also part of their, their property. There's actually a really cool looking farm out there. In fact, even past the farm, I'm seeing more trees out there yet. I don't know how far their establishment is, how, how much property they own. But the more I'm looking at this, I'm thinking they own all of this. I'm seeing trees on the other side of the road over there. They probably own that as well. And like I said, way, way back there, I'm seeing more Christmas trees. And then behind all those, those farmhouses, I see another field of trees as well. So I'm guessing they own a ton of property, but I guess if you have a tree farm, you're gonna to have to have a lot of property to grow your trees because uh, while well, people are gonna come out here, they're gonna to wanna to cut down their own trees. And then on top of that, you have your tree lot where you're gonna to wanna to sell trees. They also make wreaths out here. There's a bunch of wreaths when I first walked in. I guess they make those as well. So of course you're gonna make wreaths. You need, you need trees to make the wreaths as well. So yeah, they own a ton of property. I, I'm, I'm now noticing even behind the tree line there. There are trees, Christmas trees, evergreen trees back there as well. That's insane. That is a lot of land to not realize that. I don't remember where exactly the uh, 
the old haunted hayride took you. And now that I think about it, I want to say back like around that tree line over there is actually how far back we went back with the haunted hayride. I think back there is when they actually had, again, it was a big semi truck. You would come through and you get to this dark area and you come around this corner and you think, okay, something's going to happen. Someone's going to jump out. You know, it's dark here. Nothing's been going on for like a minute or so. And all of a sudden, just bam, bam, of the truck horns and the lights would turn on. And this, tr this semi truck, this, this tractor trailer truck would, would come and chase after the, uh, the actual hayride. It was pretty amazing. It was really intense. I really wish they did that. I don't know why they ever stopped doing the haunted hayrides out here. It was like the coolest haunted hayride in the area. It was amazing. I love coming out to this hayride every year. I actually only did it a couple, well, I should say every year, but I only did a couple of years. When I was a pretty young kid, I never did it because it was really intense. And then by the time I got into like high school and stuff, I started doing it and then they got rid of it. So I don't know what that was about, but I uh, wish they'd bring it back. But they do still have the tree farm, which I guess is their bread and butter. Makes you wonder what they do the rest of the year though. Cause I mean, obviously they probably make all their money. Yes, I'm getting winded. I'm walking up a hill. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> so um, they probably make all their money come around Christmas time, but I know they're open all year round. So it makes you wonder what happens throughout the rest of the year. How do they make their money throughout the rest of the year? Do they just sell trees to people throughout the rest of the year as well? I don't know if they have like a nursery inside. I'm about to actually go inside the store when I'm done here to see what exactly is inside there. Oh my gosh. This hill did not look that intense, but the more I'm walking up it, it's kind of a steep hill. There's a, it's a bit of a workout going up this hill. It is, it is a lot steeper than I thought. Well, you can see how steep it is to that. Now that I'm up here, I'm like, wow, yeah. It didn't look that bad until I started walking it. Now, now I'm winded. Now I'm out of breath. This is my exercise for the week, for the month, for the year. But I really don't want to come out here to this tree farm. I mean, it's the Christmas season, but why not come out to a tree farm? This I've only ever been out to one once before. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. And Jaeger's Tree Farm here, Feeding Soul, Pennsylvania. Who I'm gonna walk back down the hill now. <laughs> now, or should I walk through the trees? Maybe I should walk through the trees. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I want to hear from you guys. What do you do? <sighs> what do you do when it comes to Christmas? Do you walk up giant hills, get extremely winded, extremely fast? Is that what you do for Christmas? Or do you, do you go to a tree lot and just pick up a tree that's already been pre-cut? Look, somebody, somebody left. Somebody left the saw out here. Look at that. Somebody left their saw laying out here. That is not good. I feel like I should do my duty and take this back. I'm gonna do that. There was a whole rack of saws down there. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna take this saw. I'm gonna put it back where it belongs. Or should I, should I cut down a tree? Should I do it? No, I'm not gonna take a tree home with me. What do you guys do? Do you guys cut down trees? Cut down your own tree with a saw. Like I actually have a saw like this at home that I use to trim trees, trim branches off trees at home. Actually, very, works very well. Very, um, very well designed saw, but anyway, do you cut down your own trees? Do you go to a tree lot with already pre-cut trees? Do you just use a fake tree? Let me know what you can do. I wanna, I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna know how you do your Christmas at your house. What is your family tradition? What kind of tree do you use? It's so much easier walking downhill than it is walking uphill. This is nice, I like this. I think it's the, cause I'm doing my, my duty, cause I'm doing my good deed for the day. My body's like, all right, you're going downhill. Let's calm down. All right. I'm gonna, this is so muddy here. I'm <laughs> waiting to slip and fall in the mud. You guys would love that, wouldn't you? All right. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Just wanna come out here again to the tree farm. Show this off. It's really pretty out here as well. It's, it's really amazing looking. Beautiful tree farm. I can see the, the appeal of cutting down your own tree. Come out to this beautiful farm. You, go, you look around, there's a family down there. They've been walking all around. You, you go around, you go, okay, which, which tree's the best? This one, eh, a little puny. Maybe that one's, you know, a little, little weird. That one over there, it's like a little brown on the bottom. We don't want that one. Then you come to like this one over here and you think, oh, this is it. This is the perfect tree. It's, 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 it's round on the bottom and the star look amazing on top. It's, it's, it's perfect. You cut it down by yourself. You can see I cut this tree down by myself. You slap it onto your car, you take it home, you set it up, you decorate it, you make it look all pretty. That's awesome.
but I've never done that. So anyway, guys, like I said, leave comments down below. Let me know. Let me know you what you do for Christmas. What you're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip and fall. It's really money out here. Let me know what you do for your Christmas traditions. I want to hear. But anyway, guys, with that, I am done. I, I got a saw to put back on a rack. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Actually, I should check to see if they have postcards here. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. I'm so out of breath now again. Spreadshirt, where you can pick up retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do go to help putting gas in Vanabelle and in pumpkins when we come out to interesting places like this. All right, guys, like I said, I'm gonna let you go. So again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. All right, bye.